Hello everyone, I'm Sam, a Huawei engineer. Today, I will be introducing the TCP flow collection principle of Fabric Insights. With the acceleration of digital transformation throughout the industry, a growing number of applications are being deployed in data centers, making networks larger and more complex. In addition, network convergence requires highly reliable service quality for applications, which places great challenges on network OMDF. According to an industry-wide survey, over 90% of applications in data centers are TCP-based. Fabric Insight collects network-wide TCP flows, uses intelligent algorithms to analyze and generate statistics from big data, and associates networks with their corresponding application flows to improve O&M efficiency. TCP is a connection-oriented communication protocol that works at the transport layer. The client and server of a network application exchange data using TCP, forming TCP flows. TCP uses the widely known three-way handshake mechanism to set up a connection. Firstly, the client sends a SYN packet to initiate a connection. Then, the server replies with a SYN plus ACK packet. Finally, the client replies with an ACK packet. After the connection is set up, data can be transmitted. The connection is then torn down through a four-way handshake. When the connection times out or an invalid data packet is received, an RST packet can be sent to set up the connection again. Fabric Insights captures TCP connection setup, teardown and reset packets to analyze application flows in the data center. Based on the ER span remote flow mirroring capability, the network device mirrors the TCP feature packets to the Fabric Insight collector. Now, I'll use the service flow interaction process to describe the Fabric Insight flow collection in detail. On a data center network, VM1 initiates a TCP connection with VM2. The connection setup packet is transmitted from leaf1 to spine1 and then to leaf2. The packet is mirrored from the three switches to the Fabric Insight collector. The mirrored packets contain the ER span source IP address, VXLAN packet header, IP packet header, and TCP packet header. You can figure out the forwarding route of the packet based on this information. The collector performs the following operations on the mirrored packet based on DPDK. Firstly, it adds a timestamp which records the time when the collector receives the mirrored packet. Then, it passes the packet, which involves obtaining the ER span source IP address, VXLAN header, IP header, and TCP packet header. Finally, it reports the information. It does this by packaging the packet data as a message and sending the message to the analyzer. The analyzer then analyzes the packet data processes the data as flow data, and deeply mines data about the association between networks and applications. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.